In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a better way to comment things out with NeoVim. If you're following along with the From Scratch series, then you can go check out the 10 comments branch. If not, you should be able to follow along just fine. Uh, let me show you what you're gonna be getting out of the box first here. So we're gonna open up uh, some JavaScript or really JSX file here. And let's see how we're gonna be able to comment some stuff out. So we can do GCC, right, to comment out one line. And I'm also gonna show you a way to do this uh, so that it's not only um, like language aware, but also kind of JSX aware, right? Uh, with this thing called context comment string. So now if I do GC, you can see that there's two different types of comments in here. Uh, we have like React or JSX commenting, and then we have regular commenting just like that. So yeah. Okay, so that's basically where you're gonna get though. You're just gonna press GCC for one line and then you're gonna go and select a big piece of text like this in visual mode and then you can do GC and you'll be able to comment out multiple lines. All right, so let's get started with how to actually do that. Um, just head over to your NeoVim config and then go to, in my case, this is where I keep my plugins, is under Lua user plugins. And we're gonna need two plugins for this. So let's actually just jump to the bottom. Uh, one is from num to string uh, comment.envim. Obviously, that's just a commenting plugin. And that alone will give you the ability to do like regular comments like this, right? You can see it's not like, it doesn't matter what language I'm in, it just knows how to comment in that language, right? Um, but the other one that you're gonna need is, well, you're gonna need a couple, I guess. You're gonna need tree sitter. And then you're also gonna need uh, MVim TS context comment string. And so what that means is, uh, well, Vim has this idea of a comment string. That's like what, uh, for instance, a comment string for Lua would just be, uh, one second, GCC, would just be these two dashes, right? But in JSX, you have two forward slashes for regular JavaScript, and then you have the uh, curly braces and all for JSX. And so this is context comment string, so it knows what kind of comment string to use based on the context of the file. Right, so what context you're in at that time. So we're gonna install that guy up there, the comment.envim, make sure you have tree sitter, and then we're also gonna install TS, which stands for tree sitter context comment string. All right, and so now let's go take a look at what we have for comments. So I have this under uh, just Lua user, and then I have comment.lua here. This is basically all the stuff to get the uh, TS context comment string stuff working. GCC and GC work out of the box. Uh, but yeah, so you're gonna wanna add this config here. There is stuff in their uh, readme for this. So if you go look here, I don't, well actually I don't know if it's in their readme. It might be in their docs somewhere, but I know that this is how you do it. Let's see, yeah, here it is. So if you go to their readme, they actually do have some stuff here for getting this to work. So you can go check that out over there. All right, so now that we're back over here in our config, we showed you the comment uh, file. Now let's take a look at the tree sitter file. So we don't actually need to do anything um, for, like we don't, I don't have like a separate file for context comment string or anything like that. All I do is with what, whatever else I have with tree sitter here, um, I just add context comment string uh, just to the setup for tree sitter. And I just say that enable true and then enable auto command equals false. I'm not really sure why I have that there. There's, I'm sure some good reason, but you know, go look at the repository and read into what other options are available for you here. These are the ones that I pass and it works for me. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. It'll work for every single language and I know it's been a huge turn off for people um, when they're using JSX or I, I don't know how many other languages uh, need some context aware comment string stuff. But yeah, this will give you the ability to easily comment things across different languages and then also across different contexts inside of, you know, one, one like JSX file for instance. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you're enjoying the content, you can support me over on GitHub um, or Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.